All right, so let me show you what I did. So I put the bolts in here uh, to hold this arm so, it, so it's steady. And what I did was um, I took this first hole here. That's that's this hole, that's that's the one that's already there. It's this one right here. So I centered it, right? I centered them together, make sure that they're uh, centered. Then took a, I took a Sharpie, uh, took a Sharpie and I marked this over here. After I marked it with a Sharpie in the center, I took a center punch to so center punch that. So I have a, you know, you can either use a center punch with a hammer or I also have a, uh, where's my other, oh, there it is. I also have a, a self-centering center punch. So I use this. After I did that, I took a little uh, 1 16th, 1 16th uh, drill bit, drill a little pie hole. Then I took the drill bit that's, that's basically uh, closest to fitting this that I have enough clearance and if you look at it, it's pretty it's not that much wiggle room, there is a little bit of wiggle room just like this bolt over here um, this bolt over here there's a little bit of wiggle room, actually this one even has less wiggle room maybe I should have used maybe I should have used a tighter a tighter uh, uh, a tighter uh, drill. Let's see. So actually, those bolts I think are metric, and uh, I think those bolts are metric. And uh, what I'm using is is fraction, you know, fractional inches. So uh, so it probably doesn't quite fit the same. Uh, so anyways, so let's look at over here on this side. So this side I haven't drilled yet. Over here on this side. Oh shit! So I did the same thing. Put the two bolts here so that way it holds his arm uh, steady. Then I centered the uh, I centered the uh, this hole here, right? Center this this hole on the bracket with the uh, with the with the frame. Then I uh, used a sharpie sharp uh, marked it. Then I uh, center punched it, and you can actually see the little mark there. Center punch, and I actually also use the drill bit, the one sixteenth drill bit to drill it in slightly. You don't need to go all in all the way. Just need to drill it so that it's deep enough so it could fit the uh, the chisel of the bigger drill, right? So the bigger chill drill at the end, at the very tip there, you know, it's like it's like a, at the very tip right here. It's like a uh, it's like a little chisel. So as long as that that little hole could fit this chisel, that's all you need. Then uh, basically drill through it, drill through it, and uh, that should have your your holes uh, lined up properly. Okay, so that's that. So, so now, we, now I could, uh, now I could, uh, um, now I could, uh, um, place the bolts in here for the other bracket, you know, for this bracket here, inside here, so that way, that way this bracket in here could be, I could, I could know exactly which position it is, and, uh, maybe even run the, the bolt through that one hole just to hold it in place then that way I could mark the hole on top with a with a marker and do a center punch on that on this one there's so much that's like geez I could barely fit my hand in here so I can't drill from this side I actually have to uh, drill from the other side so the other side is space you know here's the other side there's this behind here there's plenty of space so I need to take off this wheel well cover so that way I can have uh, I can see what I'm doing um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit I'm probably gonna hit this with a hammer, with my center punch hammer, and set up the, the spring loaded one. The spring loaded one is not hard enough to uh, make a dent, and it just makes a tiny little mark. But if I use the hammer one and I hit hard enough, it should make a little dent, and I, could, I should be able to see the dent on the other side. And from there, uh, I could re center punch it from that side, then then I could uh, uh, drill that little pilot hole, then I could drill my, my, my full size hole. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. All right, so here's my bar. I finally uh, got everything going. Uh, back bar here. This is the sidebar, the passenger sidebar. And the L bracket in, inside. So I was able to drill the top hole. Uh, drill this bottom hole. This bottom hole is the easy one. The top hole is the one that was a real pain. Um, how I was able to mark the top hole is basically um, take its this L bracket and put it on the, the outside here 
and from there I used the uh, sharpie to mark the uh, spot. But to do that, I have to take off this uh, the inside uh, uh, wheel liner, right? They take all that off. But I have to move move the horn out of the way, move all the stuff out of the way to to get into uh, into uh, the top hole. As you can see right there, the bolt. Uh, but when I was drilling here, I didn't have space because of this piece right here. So the drill wasn't squared, so it was kind of sideways, and it, and and it was having a hard time with that. Uh, when it did finally go through, because it was sideways, you know, it kind of mangled up the hole a little bit. It's you know, it's not, it's not round. It's kind of chewed up. But just that's just how it is. Uh, you know, now you can't tell because because the bolts are there, and it, you know, whatever mangleness they had, the bolts, you know, squished it down. So now everything's flattened again. So we're good there. Uh, so I totally forgot to, uh, you know, these these. Nuts that are on here. These these are actually locking nuts, but I but I put some Loctite on it anyways. But I forgot to put blue Loctite on uh, when I was putting it together. Then uh, so I end up putting some green Loctite. So that's green Loctite is a, the the Loctite that's used for after after you fasten everything together. Then you need to add Loctite. You use the green Loctite because the, Loct the green Loctite is very thin and it actually flow it will flow in there. Whereas the blue one won't do that. The blue one you have to put on before you screw everything together. So I did all that. So this side is done. So this side's not so bad because it's just you know this even though it's tight right here, there's still a lot more room here, right? Whereas this side on the other hand, I haven't gotten to yet. So it's very past midnight, or well, actually it's past one o'clock already. So I'm gonna do this side uh, tomorrow morning. So this side I haven't taken off anything yet. So I have to still have to take out the wheel liner, right? The wheel liner right here, and underneath that there's this. Uh, Resonator box. This is an intake resonator. So you look up right there. It actually uh, goes. It actually connects to the intake up here. Um, let's see right up there. That's the intake up there. See right there. That's the intake. So this right here. It's a resonator. So I have to move this out of the way. The good thing is that it disconnects right up right here. So this way it comes off. So I just have to you know unbolt it here and over there. I think probably one on top as well up here somewhere. Then anyway, so this right here will just right here will just slide right off. So I have space. Uh, so I have space to the to the other side of this of this uh, uh, subframe part right here, or part of the frame right here. The bad thing here is that if you look closely in there, you actually see where the bracket is. That little round circling thing right at the tip of my uh, pinky right there. That's actually the AC condenser. So it's like it's only like about half an inch away. So when I drill that hole, I have to be really careful that you know once I break through the hole, I have to like stop right away and and not not you know poke into the AC condenser because that's dangerous right there. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, so that's my progress so far. So supposedly, you know, Megan Racing said, you know, oh, there's no modification or nothing with this one. But I think uh, looking at the pictures, uh, I think two things. Actually, the first one it doesn't really matter. So I was thinking, looking at the pictures, the the, the car that's in the picture is is an automatic, whereas mine is a manual transmission. Uh, this is probably a CVT, not a not a regular automatic, probably a CVT. I'm guessing. Uh, anyways, mine's a manual transmission, uh, but I don't think that's the that's the, the difference. I think the body frame part is the same. What I think is that is that their the picture that they have is probably a Japanese made Honda Fit. Whereas my Honda Fit is a Mexican made Honda Fit, so that's probably where the difference is. Um, more so, you know, because because the Fit, at first it was made in Japan, but but it got at the time anyways, it was popular enough where where they couldn't keep up with production, you know, production couldn't keep up with demand, I should say, and uh, so they opened up the plant in uh, in Mexico, and so this this particular Fit that I have is. Uh, it's a Mexican made Honda Fit. So I think that's where the difference is. Um, some little things here and there that were that's not that should be there, but it's not it's not there, so but anyways, that's the way it is. Um Yeah, so I'm gonna leave you at that. Uh, so I'm gonna do the rest you know the rest of this tomorrow morning. And uh, I'll do a video on um, once I button it up because cause that took way too long, way, way too long. I just Fit it around with drilling the drilling that hole on top, and it's not 
part of drilling the hole on top that was difficult. It was the part that having to get to it, I had to remove all this other stuff. That was a pain in the butt right there. Okay, that's it for this part.